Martin O'Neill's Nottingham Forest will be looking to win consecutive league matches for the first time since September last year, today when they take on Stoke City at the Bet365 Stadium. The visitors are unbeaten in four and are pushing for the playoffs, while Stoke will move closer to halfway in the table if they win their first game in six attempts. It's been a decent start here from the Potters as Joe Allen gets possession. Nathan Jones' team work it out towards the right wing. Back into to Allen. Tomins now in possession. They work it down the right. Ince is in the penalty area if they can try and pick him out, but it is to Allen. Allen finds Ince. In shoots towards goal. Good save. Down to his left hand side. Costal Pantelimont makes sure it stays at 0 0. Ince now with the corner to the edge of the six yard box. Pantelimont punches clear. It's going to fall to. Bojan on the edge of the box, he beats his first man, can he get to the next ball, he can't. Inventive play from the Stoke playmaker, but just couldn't find the pivotal touch there. Boris now trying to build out from the back. Still waiting for an advancing run, it was Watson in midfield. free kick call against that Stoke there. That one is eventually given. Lollick bundled to the floor just past the halfway line. And Watson decides to dummy the original set piece and will go backwards now towards his centre half pairing. Game for both sides. And hopefully upsetting the previous record. Three of the last four meetings between the pair have been nil-nil. Stoke have started suggest we might be in for a different afternoon today. This is now Forrest's chance to attack and Lolly dribbled his way inside. Deflected shot comes in and that's going to bounce behind for a corner. Lolly to take the set peaks. He's going to go in swinging towards the near post. Butland just deals with it. Still not fully clear. Butland to the rescue. Half volley. Headed up into the air. Stokes scrambling to get it away. Watson back into the danger zone and Allen eventually Palms things down for Stoke, but Jack Butland at his near post just doing enough to deny Nottingham Forest. It is Murphy now trying to take on the home defence. It's worked out to the left hand side. Neat turn keeps Forest in possession. Watson now trying to orchestrate the attack. It's a ball out to the right touchline for Lolly, who cuts it inside. Stoke deal with it. Allen can bring it clear. And now perhaps a potential counter. The Welsh International goes out towards Tom Ince, who's got room to manoeuvre. And Ince goes inside. A chance to tee up Atibo. Atibo running into space, onto his right foot, strikes, bottom corner, Stoke lead. And Atibo gets his second of the season. Tom Ince, the architect. Neat ball inside, and the Nottingham Forest defence parted allowing the midfielder to strike and he took the chance straight away. Stoke now going route one for the first time in a while. Shawcross couldn't find his teammate Benny Kofobi. Slow build-up play from Forrest. Murphy. It's well worked though if they can create a chance from it. A strike from range. Butland saves. Down to his right hand side. Ambitious effort. And needs to be better to beat the keeper from there. Boris still trailing by a goal to nil. Shawcross again. Just trying to calm things down at the back for the Potters. Sam Klukas. Allen. Again, continues to pull the strings in midfield. And Danny Bath goes route one. Free kick given to Stoke. Some clumsy defending. Tom Ince is fouled. And now they can send the big boys forward. Ince will fancy his chances here. Ince moves out of the way. It's a floating cross. Murphy heads it back towards his own goal. And Stoke try and bundle it home. But that's going to be fired wide.
pull back. And Co forced to go back. It's a scruffy clearance and Stoke dive on possession straight away, but Bergen's pass is sloppy as well. So Colback will carry it over halfway. Back into Colback's feet. A chance to play it inside. Stoke here for a second of being undone, but Butland's there. Tips it over the bar. The England international coming to the rescue again. Set piece opportunity. Four in the forest away, it in the area. Towards Murphy. Shawcross gets to him first. Only headed as far as the edge of the box. Back out, straight towards goal. That was never going to beat Butland from there. Charlie urged to hurry up with this free kick. Brilliant pass out towards Inns on the far touchline. Stoke carry it towards the penalty box. Callback's there to intercept. Now can Tom Ince dispossess Forrest? He can, wins a free kick. Great work from Tom Ince. Adam now over the free kick. Plenty of Stoke shirts in the box. Towards the near post, fired past. And that's going to be bouncing out for a goal kick. Lolly inside. Forrest now trying to turn on the pressure inside. The cross comes, but that's going to be Paul into the hands of Butland and Forrest continue to pluck away. Murphy though having little service so far. It's not a spirited display from Martin O'Neill's men. They've beaten in their last four games. Two wins, two draws, but they need to find another goal. To ensure that record can be extended to five. A mistake in midfield is released. Ince, who now finds Benica Fobe, who powers his way into the box and finds the bottom corner, kisses the post, the right footed effort, and a Fobe thumps the ball home. Ince being wrestled off possession, but he had enough about him to find a Fobe. A neat first touch and a better finish, and Stoke have doubled their advantage. Now got it all to do. Trailing by two. Colbach ends his there again. Quick as a flash to intercept. He's got a phobia to his right. He's going to fancy a strike towards goal himself. And Pantelemon has to be alert to the danger. Set piece now for Charlie Adams. Left boot into the box. Misses everybody. Stoke inches away from a third but nobody in a red and white shirt could connect. Options on the left if Forrest can work it out there. And now into the middle of the park. A little chips ball over the top. Stoke have to get out, and they do. Butland on hand, calming influence at the bank. Possession out to the right wing, Lolly again. It's been a real nuisance all afternoon. Back inside, shooting space perhaps. Shawcross flies out of defence as a crunching tackle. Forrest still have the ball, and the cross comes in, and it's behind for a corner. Left footed out swinger looking towards Murphy over his head. Stoke do enough to clear it for the time being. Second attempt from Forrest towards the near post, header towards goal, and it's going to bounce past the far post. Another sloppy clearance, and Inns now has a chance driving towards goal. It's a three on two onto his stronger left foot, he goes down, free kick given, and the card comes out. Now can Chad Adam put the icing on the cake. A left-footed strike low and hard enters at the back post, but he just can't dive on possession. Corner given to Stoke. Forrest now looking for a consolation goal, it seems, with Joe Lally over this set piece. Lolly to the far post. Stoke player falls down to the ground. Shawcross now standing brave at the edge of the area. Right for an effort comes in. And Guerriora's right-footed strike sums up the afternoon for Forrest. 
as the full-time whistle goes. Stoke claim a huge three points. Goals from Atibo and Afobe are enough as the Potters win their first game in six. Full-time score from the Bet365 Stadium. Stoke two, Forest nil.